All right, so here we have the dirt shaker and um, put it to use yesterday. Um, got used to using it now. A little bit of quirks on there, but um, just to quickly go over, it's um, I think that's about a six and a half horsepower engine from uh, Harbor Freight. Works pretty well. Um, you can see it spins this um, gear there. Have a couple counterbalances. One right there, one down there, and um, it shakes it out pretty good. Um, just wish there was a little bit more shaking action. You got to meter how much you put on there with regards to the dirt when you pile it on. But the the dirt that does get filtered is perfect. I couldn't ask for a better uh, dirt once we get done. And um, just look at it from the front side here. I put a piece of plywood on the front to keep the good dirt from the bad dirt. Um, taking our look over on this side of the construction. It's pretty heavy. Um, initially, it's a we made it at a 20 degree angle, and 20 degrees isn't enough. Um, so I did in the interim. I just kind of lifted it once I got the dirt in there, and I pulled it forward. I just lifted it up, and the dirt filled in underneath it. So I got a, a better angle at it right now. Let me just quickly pan over here. This is the stuff we're uh, um, going to sift out today. And we will, my trusty Kubota, so you want to go ahead and hold it there, I'll go ahead and fire it up.
modifications I'm going to make on here is probably put a, um, a little bit of guard over here. The bucket's probably um, is almost as wide as the, uh, the top screen, so I need to put a couple uh, guards and, and shoots, I guess, is what, you'll, what I call them. Put them in there. It took a while to get the pulleys all lined up, but it seems to be uh, operating pretty good now. Um, but it um, just got to watch how much you put on there. Dusty job. Got to see which way the wind's blowing. Other than that, it's uh, I love it. So we got a lot of dirt to do, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. All right.